right, y'all. So these, I'm doing a collaboration with you by Latasha Edmonds. Amharic is an ancient Ethiopian language. I don't know if y'all seen this video right here when I did my DNA. In the DNA, it said I had Kenyan. But growing up, my mom always told us we had Ethiopian. As a matter of fact, my the Ethiopian, her my mom's mom, mom was Cherokee and Ethiopian. And then the Cherokee and Ethiopian lady, I have all the names written down. Her mom was full-blooded Ethiopian. And the interesting part is I always did Ethiopian art, not even knowing that was Ethiopian art. Always did it. I remember I was working on this children's book. And I was working on these sisters. And I was going to name them. Like let they let, let it be known that they come from this tribe in in West Africa. But it's crazy because when I look at it. They look. It look more like Ethiopian art. If I don't. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all one day them. Because I still have it when I created them over 10, 15 years ago. So if y'all look on the screen, y'all will see a lot of different Ethiopian art. Amharic is not aromatic. You know what? It's not aromatic. It sounds like it. It's not aromatic. What I did find out about Amharic language is it is close to Hebrew. That's the designs you by Natasha is doing. But it's close to that dialect and Arabic. Okay, so let's get into the designs that I did. All right, so the first word is queen. So this is what I created. If you look at a lot of Ethiopian art, a lot of their eyes always be this way and their lips be really small. Nose longer, but with my Ethiopian art, I wanted to create, their the nose is longer, but I gave it, I made it a little more broader. And then they always have little lips. So the word, y'all see the word across the the screen now with this design okay if you put if you capitalize q you're going to get a different word right here a different letter right here so when i did this design i had to go back and redo it and then i was like so why is back to that now then i realized i had capitalized this i'm learning about m m language right here i got this dictionary i'm learning a lot and i got a couple more books that i'm getting so this is not nothing that i'm just doing i'm i'm literally studying this history and studying this language with this design i wanted to make her look raw and um and right here i kind of put the ancient traditional ethiopian garments so they will kind of have a design similar to that and yeah, I really like her. She is so regal and raw. I gave her a little nose ring. Um, and the this is really her hair. When I was doing it, I was going to make her do it like this and make her hair black. But I was like, you know what? Ethiopia is full of colors. So I wanted to put some of the colors of the Ethiopian flag in there, which is the red, the um, yellow, the green the blue so i wanted to incorporate that in this design so that's that and then this is this says queen and Ar aromatic so i'm looking at this right and it remind me a little bit of arabic because i done did a couple of designs of arabic so this is the first and i wish y'all could really see this or y'all could see it in the light because it glistens so she is regal this is I, I enjoy creating her the next word is power and power what i did i put the red yellow and green colors in the back and if you look real closely you'll see little blues because i kind of incorporate the colors of the flag in this design and it's this is power and this is power in aromatic and i just wanted to do just a simple earring and just with culture and yeah these was really fun so y'all will see the word power. Next pair is peace. And aromatic, this is the word, this is the language, this is the script. But when you say the word, it's salam. It's salam. So in Arabic, it's salam. Y'all know how I say salam, salam. 
So it's a lot. When I think of peace, I think of Esau, Yeshua, whatever y'all decide to call him. But y'all will see what they call him across the screen. And that's his name in Aramaic. When I thought of peace, I thought about Prophet Esau, which is in Arabic, which is in Jesus in English. So I thought of him when I thought of the word peace. And, you know, when you look at a lot of Ethiopian art, you will always see like the light around. So what I do, like I say, from this design, I'm doing my noses different. So people can distinguish my Ethiopian art from anybody else else in your Ethiopian art because usually with Ethiopian art you'll see more of a straight nose but I gave it a little wide nose because that's one thing about a lot of times they say about um Ethiopian and how they nose but I'm Ethiopian but I got West African in me too they have like really small noses I, just just my signature thing of how I do my Ethiopian art all right so I put the colors I put the red and the green in there and I put a little blue in there and he came out gorgeous. I really like doing him. All right, so this is Miriam. And if you can, okay, you look at him, you'll be like, Well, hi, Miriam or Mary. And then I put her name across in aromatic. And I can't pronounce it yet, y'all, but I don't want to say it wrong. When you read scripture, she was around 13 years old. When she had Esau or Jesus and she looked young. I, I created her a little younger because she was mainly a teen mom when you think about it. You know, as men mature, they do look older. They mature, they look older than women. So this is his mother. And like I say, when I think of peace, I think of Esau and Miriam. Which those words are Arabic. <laughs> so once I get down, get this down, packed and learning. And I got like two more books coming. And if y'all want to study this along with me, I'll put this link in the description box. So this pair came out gorgeous. And even like if you see it in the sun, it's it's like really beautiful. Armatic Ethiopian designs. And y'all going to see more. So I want to thank you all that's watching. And let me know what y'all think about these. These will be listed in my Etsy shop. If y'all want to cop them, y'all want some really dope spiritual earrings that have that indigenous ancient Ethiopian script and art. I got ancient hands, y'all. My ancestors on these hands. So they have these are very, they came out very beautiful. I'm happy. When I was I think one of my first Ethiopian pictures I did, I'm going to insert a picture right up here. And it was of Miriam and Esau. And I, I sold it. It went very quick. And I kept saying I'm going to remake it. But I'm going to remake it because my art skills ain't got way more better. I'm going to insert a picture up here so y'all can see. But that was in 2011. When I, don't forget, like this video, comment, just leave a dope, beautiful message. If you want to donate to this channel, my links are in the description box. If you want to donate to the cats, the links for the cats is in the description box. I have an Amazon wish list. If you want to do donate something from there, which is his art supplies and cat supplies. And if you want to purchase Unity Afrocentric Design stencils, go to kdordesigns.com. If you want to purchase Unity hand painted earrings, go to boabba.com and knodesigns.com or boabba.com is over 300 designs and it's a lot of one of a kinds on knodesigns.com don't forget to pick up trash in your neighborhood and adopt a pet from your local animal shelter and rescues all right y'all salam